You see? But kids ain't got no clothes. The kids ain't got this. And the scriptures say be content. Give me that in uh, Hebrews. <coughs> First, uh, Hebrews 13, 13 and, uh, right at 2. Somewhere in here. I believe it's like 5. Hebrews 13 and 5. Right. Book of Hebrews. It might be 4. It's 4 or 5. But scriptures say be content with what you got, man. You see? It says... Uh, might be 13 and 5, 13 and 4. So let your conversation, marriage is honorable, to fire all this conversation. Hebrews 13 and uh, might be 6, 7, it's up in there somewhere. Verse yeah. 5 come. Hebrews 13 and 5. It says, Let your conversation be without covetousness. Yeah. And oh, uh, covetous. About money. You see? About, we don't look up that word. Look up that word. <coughs> God damn, this fucking bullshit. There's something in the fucking house. It's that uh, pollen, man. Shit. Choking the shit out of me. <coughs> yeah, we're going to look up that word covetous. It's about money, man, a wicked game. But I'm gonna let the brother read the definition in Hebrews 13 and five. But we can get to the point. You know, edification for the for the, for the uh, definition of the word to come out. Because brothers always need to be edified to be spiritually built up, build up in these times. Cause this shit fucked up out here, bro. Gun. This shit fucked up out here, man. You got a lot of fucking demons out here, man. This shit fucked up, man. You got demons in your fucking household, man. If you especially if you got a nigga woman, man. Okay. This is a uh, Greek 866. Uh the Greek word is a philagorius. A philagorius. Meaning not loving money. <laughs> that's it. Uh, How plain is that? Okay. And that's what the nigga woman embraced, money. You see, it's all about money where it's all about finances where it's all about what she can get new, man. What the kids can get new. Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. And that pride and that pride on that nigga woman is something else, man. She go out. Well, I go ahead. I, uh, I, I, it says, let your conversation, meaning your conduct, <coughs> be without covetousness and be content. With such things as ye have. See that? Be content. Look up that word content. Okay. <coughs> be content with what you have, man. Be, don't be uh, uh chasing that money, man. Hey, the real money, real money is gold and silver, man. Hey, that's gonna be the destruction of, uh, 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 of that nigga woman, man, chasing that money, man. That's gonna be the destruction of her, man, because that's part of her pride, man. Because that bitch will get all fixed up and get her hair done and have on that tight ass bullshit, and you got niggas trying to holler at her, and then she thinks she uh, 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 a goddess or something. That's what she think, man. And then not knowing, and then, and then when you tell her, look, you look like a fucking slut, she'll look at you and say, oh, you hate me. That's them fucking demons on her, man. That's them fucking demons. Go ahead. It says that's a uh, Greek 714 archaeo, meaning to be satisfied, to be content, to be sufficient, suffice. Yeah, satisfied. So read that for me again. Huh? Okay. And it says Hebrews 13 and 5, let your conversation be without covetousness. Mm -hmm. and all about that money, because that's what the nigga woman is. She all about that money, and what she can get. You know, go ahead. And be content with Be such. satisfied with what you got. All the kids ain't got this, the kids ain't got this. Shut up. Most I gonna most I gonna destroy this place. I'm trying to get my household in order. And here you is talking about what the kids ain't got. They need this, this, they need this. You getting mad at me because I'm in the word and reading the word and trying to uh uh get delivered out of this situation and trying to follow the commandments of the Heavenly Father, but your ass wicked as all hell talking about some fucking money. Mm -hmm. You see? You gonna be in a confused state when this shit fall out, or when the bottom fall out, man. The debt ceiling, the debt ceiling is 18 trillion. Plus, I looked at it today, it's 18 trillion plus, man. What's the day, date? Uh, today is the 18th. The 18th of uh, April. 18 trillion in count, man. This place about to go, man. 
you know, and they doing uh, Jade Helm uh, 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 drills all over the place. All over. They getting ready, man. They getting ready, man. So when martial law come, man, he, he, the nigga woman gonna be in a confused state when your how about shimmy was shot is helping the men out of the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect out of them to uh, uh, help them through that martial law and keeping them calm, you know? Because they know what time it is and cling to the most high and didn't, and didn't uh, 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 fall out and didn't lose faith mm -hmm. because of the nigga woman. Come. I'm going to you know? go back to Hebrews, but I'm going to grab this precept to back up Hebrews also. This is uh, 1 Timothy. This is 6 and 6, and it says, But godliness with contentment is a great gain. Come. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Cunt. And so they, so they, they would, the, the nigga woman would be talking to you like she, she, she gonna take everything with her, man. You know, like, it, like this place gonna last forever, man. That's how she talk to you. You know, it's all about the, it's all about. It's, uh, hey, man, these nigga women, man, they, they fucking out of their mind, man. Just cause a person tell them they look good, they fucking head go above the clouds, man. Okay. And they look like fucking sluts with all that power of makeup looking like bozo. And drying they fucking skin out and then that shit that they got on their face, painting their face like that shit probably got pork in it. Poison. You got abominations all on your face. They can't figure out why you got spots on that shit with all that fucking glued up, glued artificial hair in your head. Go ahead. Verse seven. It says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Yeah, and this Esau world, this Esau, this so-called white man world, which is falling now, but our world, we're going to get things that we can't even imagine, you know? Things we can't even utter. So uh, so if he's giving the so-called white man all this, what you think he's going to get him to, uh, to the Israelites who he love, according to the Bible? God. Super succeed this bullshit. Verse 8. In having food and remnant, let us be therefore content. But they that will that will be rich fall into temptations and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Yeah, so if you take counsel from that nigga woman chasing out of that money, that's what's gonna happen to you. That's what's going to happen, happen to you. You fall out this truth and not do the will of the Heavenly Father and Son because of the nigga woman, man. Woe unto you. For, the love, God, for the love of money is the root of all evil. For the love of money is the root of all evil. And these women love that money more than they love the Heavenly Father and His Son. And more than they love you. Because they'll sell out. And they're going to take that chip, man. They're going to take that chip, man. Once they ain't got no food, they gonna take that chip, man. And woe unto them pursuing the Revelation, the 14th chapter. Right. And it says, which, while some coveted, coveted after, they have erred from the faith. Woo, they have error from the faith, man. Trying to chase that money, man. Loving it so much. I mean, money is the uh, defense, but goddamn, man. They love it so much, they come against you. Oh, when you're trying to be a righteous man in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, they come against you, man. They got demons on them, man. Okay. Money, money is also made the so-called the, the nigger woman destroy your heritage. Yeah. Now, when I say that, because you you chase money so much, you didn't start dealing with Esau and having kids with Esau. You know that the seed come from the father, so you having babies by him and everything. So that's killing off the uh, Israelite heritage when you have babies by. Yeah, him. that's fucking up the lineage too. Uh, yeah. So you, you know, you killing your hair just chasing that money, man. All right, but the Most High gonna make an example out of them nigga women who who, who joined to Esau for that money, man. The Most High gonna make an example out of them, man. Woe unto them. God. And it says, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yeah. Look up that. Look up that word pierce. <coughs> yeah. Woe unto them, man. Anybody chasing that money, that ain't real money, man. That Federal Reserve note that you got ain't real money. Gold and silver real money. Cattle. Things of that nature. That's real money. Okay. You're going you gonna to forsake the Heavenly Father for uh, money, so-called money that's made out of thin air that was created by the elite. The Rothschild. Okay. This is a Greek 4044. 
The Greek word is pari pyro, to pierce through, metaphorically, to torture one's soul. Yeah, can't get no sleep because you ain't got no money and you can't get it. So you do everything in your power trying to get it. Whether it's selling out, you just doing whatever ever in your power to get it, disrespecting your man and everything. Yo, the root root to it is peron, meaning beyond and on the other side. Yeah, you didn't you didn't <laughs> basically basically forsake yep. the heavenly father, the order of the heavenly right. father being up on the Israelite man and, and fearing that Israelite man uh, according to the commandments. Okay? Right. You supposed to be you supposed to be the uh, uh, daughters of Sarah, but shit, you're rebelling. God. Hebrews 13, back in 5, it says, Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he have said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord Yahweh is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Okay, so you're going to cling to the most high. Y'all about to shoot shot because he's the only power and he's the savior of us. Okay. His son, you know? But, uh, what was I at? Uh, let me read this again. This is Micah uh, 7 and 10. Then shall, then, then shall that, that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, where, where is the Lord thy God? My eyes shall behold her, and now shall she be trotted down as mire of the streets. Son, so you're going to be trampled down for, for your, for your uh, lack of understanding, for going to the other side, you know, for, yep. you, for your love of that money. Yep, the nigga you know, woman. The, yeah, you're going to be trampled, man. Yep. You know? And not stand up under the water of God by the Because this first tell it tells you just like Paul, just like Paul was giving, just like uh Paul was dealing with them uh 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 Israelite that was in Greece, Corinth, Greece, he was giving them the order when they was coming back into the fold how to worship the heavenly father and his son. That's why when you read the uh uh First Corinthians 11 chapter that's why I start off like that because it's giving you the order and anytime you uh, uh, break that order you're rebelling against the most high and that's why the woman's supposed to be beneath the man man you see that's the order of it and she poses and, and and she supposed to get her guidance from a from a uh, from an Israelite man who know who he is and keeping in truth and sincerity know who he is in truth and sincerity and keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of his ability man Okay. That's what she supposed to be. Not trying to uh, have a baby with the so-called white man and uh, 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 chasing out the money, man. You see? So don't follow that nigga woman, man. God, it says, 1 Corinthians 11 and 8, For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Really start at the top. At the top, kind, God. kind, kind. Your this pop. the order. This the order because Paul was telling them, look, this is how you worship the heavenly father and his son. This is how you do it. And he broke it down to him. And 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 Paul wasn't taught by men. Paul was taught by the revelations of Yahweh Shai pursuing the uh what is this? Uh Galatians, the first chapter. Go ahead. This is uh 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. And you had Israelites scattered through all all over, man. That's why you got the different letters and like in Corinth, Greece. Like Ephesians and and Rome, you got you had Israelites scattered everywhere pursuing the James uh, the first chapter. Okay, come First Corinthians eleven and one. Be ye followers of me, even as I am of Yahweh Shai. And that's plain. Go ahead. It says, Now I praise you, brethren, brethren, Con. which are Israelites, Go that ahead. ye that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances. As I delivered them to you. But what but but see the thing about that is, see, these prophets that's in this that's in this Bible were learned men. They knew the law. So they was delivering the ordinance that was set up by the most high that was given to Moses. And it would distribute out through the gen uh through the uh, nation of Israel. You, you see? And so that's what he was basing his uh 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 his uh, order off of. He knew, the, he, they knew the law. They knew, they knew. So they was teaching out of it. 
Okay, go ahead. Come on.